Hey, what's going on YouTube? So uh, today I'm just going to be uh, putting a different VTC gear in this engine. This is the TSX K24A2 and uh, it came out of the 05 so it doesn't have the good camshafts in it. But anyways, um, that was my old engine um, and I just sold it for 800 bucks. Somebody got a good deal. Um, but it's still got my 45 degree machined VTC gear. Um, I paid, I think, 300 or 200 or 300 for it. Um, I didn't even tell them it was in there, so I'm, I'm not going to give that to them for free. Uh, so this is a 25 degree VTC gear that I'm going to put in. Um, I've seen a couple, like, I guess, things on the forums talking about how to do it. Um, I've done it a couple times already. Uh, I haven't seen any videos on it, so I figured I'd just make a video of it real quick. It's not that difficult. Uh, there's a few steps that you do have to follow, but um, it's not that bad. All right, starting with the obvious, of course, take all the bolts out. If this thing's in the, actually in the uh, car, then of course you gotta remove a whole bunch of other shit first, but you'll see it's pretty obvious. Anyways, this one, uh, all the bolts, and then pop off the valve cover, of course, pull out your oil dipstick. All right, so for the next part, um, don't forget to remove your spark plugs. This will make this uh, turning the crankshaft and getting it lined up in time easier. So that's the next thing we'll do, of course, remove the spark plugs and we'll get this thing in time. Uh, set this to TDC and make sure these are at the proper locations as well. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, so as you can see, the top, these are the camshaft um, gears. These are at the top. And this is your TDC mark on the crankshaft pulley. Again, those will line up perfectly straight or pretty dang close. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is I'll take a crayon since I don't have a wax pen and just uh, mark each link with the dot. Uh, whenever you're building your one, uh, whenever you're building it and assembling it and have this timing chain cover off, you can actually, uh, if you see this, these two links right here are a little bit darker than the rest of them. Uh, you can actually uh, set that up to where your dot is in between these two links here. Um, this one would have the same. I just don't feel like rotating the uh, crankshaft a bunch of times until it lines up perfectly with the uh, colored links, because that's not necessary. But what is necessary is to get it to top dead center, have the camshafts in their position, and then remove that cover there so you can get to the uh, timing chain tensioner. You'll need to clean these two mating surfaces, uh, or this mating surface here, and the one on the actual cover. The timing chain tensioner is actually a, a weak spot on the K-Series. I've never had one go out, go out on me, but um, just from what I read, people that build the high horsepower K-series engines, they usually have problems with the uh, timing chain tensioner with the, the larger camshafts, uh, or the larger lobed camshafts, the ones that have higher lift, I believe is what they were saying. Um, stage two and above is where people start running into issues uh, with the timing chain tensioner not working properly or dying out or giving out and uh, them needing to upgrade. But anyways, I'm not upgrading. I just have to uh, get this in the lock position so it stops putting tension on my chain and which will uh, allow me to get these camshafts out and camshaft gears. Yeah. And then go back to TDC. All right, and then I'm gonna be removing the camshaft holders, the camshaft caps, whatever. Um, they're all labeled. That would be one, two, three, four, five. Anyways, uh, you got to put them back on there in that same order, believe it or not. There's a specific order that you're supposed to remove these with. Um, I'll maybe post a link somewhere if, uh, if I remember to. Anyways, um, so I'm gonna remove all these. All right, all the caps are removed. I put this one back on before I remove this final cam cap here, um, just so that the camshaft doesn't just go flopping this way, because there is some chain on this tension. Um, these camshafts will lift right up. But anyways, uh, so next I'm gonna be removing the extra camshafts. I'm gonna pop that off, finish that. Make sure you keep all your bolts in the correct position. The best way to do it is just leave them in the holders and pop them out. Don't forget this little fucker here. It's a 10 millimeter and it will hold that camshaft in position, this camshaft cap in position if you don't remove it. 
know. I, I tried that, trust me, it won't come out. So, next I'm gonna be pulling out the camshafts, which means I'm just gonna be tilting these down, you know, lifting up the camshaft that way, tilting it down, but you gotta make sure that these cam, this, um, you gotta make sure that this timing chain doesn't fall down into, um, in, in behind the cover, essentially, because um, if it gets on the wrong tooth down there, on the crankshaft sprocket, uh, you know, on the inside of this cover, then it can throw your timing off. I've done that too. Not a good idea. So the best thing to do is have some kind of bungee or something, uh, maybe a zip tie is probably what I'll use. I'm just going to zip tie all the slack out to the sides. All right, finally got the camshaft out. As you can see, I zip tied the chain so that all this loose slack here doesn't fall back down in there. That's what you don't want. You can do it however you want to. This is how I did it. Anyways, so now I've got to get the actual camshaft gear off the crankshaft, uh, off the camshaft. So, um, yeah, it's going to require a cheetah bar. And it wasn't too hard to get it off. And here's my prize. RBB45. This is the one that's going back on. Let's see, where is it? RAA, right there at the bottom. So that's a 25 degree VTC gear. Uh, before you can install it, you have to unlock it first. All right, so to unlock these camshaft gears, you gotta blow compressed air into this hole here, or the one on the other side. Only one of the two will work, and you plug up the other hole with your finger. I use about 90 PSI, and you'll feel it shift and click. Um, and that's what it looks like when it's unlocked. If I turn it right now, um, and while holding the camshaft, it'll actually lock into place. But you want it unlocked whenever installing it. Then, once you install it, then you put it into the lock position. Why exactly? I don't know, but that's what they say. Okay, so once you finally wiggle it back in there, make sure your dots line up with your markings. And of course, they're pointing at each other, and you're still at top dead center. So, this right here gets tightened to, I believe that is 83, yeah, 83 foot-pounds of torque. You can put a wrench here to hold it, and then you know, a torque wrench down here. These are 16 foot-pounds according to the manual. It seems a bit light, so I just went with 18. Um, but anyways, uh, you start in the middle of all the camshaft holders, and, uh, and you work out your way out like this. And then you move over to the next one, and move over to the next one, then this one, then this one. But uh, I'm gonna put the cover back on. All right, this is the timing chain tensioner cover. All of that gasket material has got to be cleaned, and the mating surface on the timing chain cover has got to be cleaned as well. We've got this, it's a roll lock. It's the white one, it's good for aluminum. It works really good. All right, so I cleaned off the mating surfaces, wiped it down with some alcohol just to make sure there's no oil and grease on there. And then put a good bit of uh, liquid gasket for professional use only. I guess that makes me a professional. So next, of course, don't forget this one. I think that's number 21 in the pattern, the very last one. That one, I believe, was 10 foot pounds. The bolts on here are 10 foot pounds as well. Next, we'll just put the valve cover back on and tighten those down. Don't know the torque sequence or the foot pounds, but uh, just good and tight. And before you can put the valve cover on, there will be a few little spots. One right here, one right here where the timing chain cover joins with the rest of the block, and then right here where these last two, uh, where this last camshaft holder is mating with the block. They'll usually have little dots of liquid gasket there or Honda Bond is what they technically use. Um, so you'll have to clean that off and then you'll have to put dabs right there, just a pea size on each little spot before you put the valve cover back on. 